Virtual reality offers us the promise to step into another world, but the current crop of headsets don't really let you step anywhere. You're pretty much sitting on the couch. That all changes with the HTC Vive. This new headset with its sensors and controllers lets you experience a whole room of virtual reality. At first glance, this might look like the Oculus Rift, but there are a few key differences. There are 37 different sensors all over the front of the headset. These track your movement and position around the room. There's also a pass-through camera, which allows you to see the world outside of your VR headset. Unfortunately, the Vive doesn't have included headphones. You can use your own, but it may add some weight. But overall, the Vive is a really solid headset. It feels well-built and sturdy. The Vive has a 1080 by 1200 resolution per eye, a 90 hertz refresh rate, and a 110 degree field of view. Those numbers are exactly the same as the Oculus Rift, which just means you're getting high resolution images that make you feel like you're actually there. The Vive comes with two sensors, which are called base stations, and are placed in the corner of the room. Each sensor features a bank of infrared LEDs and two spinning IR lasers, which map out each unique play area. In layman's terms, this means the Vive is always tracking where you are in relation to your environment and keeps you from crashing into your furniture. Before you set up, you're going to need a powerful Windows-based PC and a large enough space to play in, although the Vive says you can play in a space as small as 4 by 4 feet. Unfortunately, the Vive doesn't include great setup instructions or a troubleshooting guide, so your setup time will vary in length. All of that work is worth it once you finally take your first step in VR. Compared to the Oculus, the Vive just feels so much more immersive. Being able to step inside VR, see your hands, feel the world around you, it's amazing. Games like Tilt Brush let you paint in different worlds, from a snowy landscape to deep space. Job Simulator shows you how the banality of real life can be fun in virtual reality. And in a puzzle game like Water Bears VR, instead of just leaning over, you're able to completely walk around the puzzle and view it from different angles. And even if you're totally immersed in play, the chaperone system makes sure you never step out of the safe zone and into an actual wall. For now, the Vive is the only system with motion track controllers, being able to look down and see your hands inside VR is so important to having a good experience. At launch, there will be more than 30 games available through Steam, the PC gaming platform. There is no killer app, and many of the games don't feel like fully fleshed out experiences, more like tech demos. But VR is a fast changing industry, and more games are coming soon. The HTC Vive is for the serious gamer, but it offers an incredible experience that really blew my mind. If you're willing to invest the money, the HTC Vive is the best experience you can buy right now.